An estimated 50,000 migrants seeking asylum are waiting in Mexico now, planning to cross the border as soon as Title 42 ends. And the number of illegal crossings could double or even triple in the coming days, with no clear plan for the administration to stem the tide. Senator John Kennedy saying Republicans have lost trust in the willingness of the White House to secure the border amid record legal illegal crossings. The president ought to hide his head on the back. I mean, it's clear that he and the members of the administration of the administration are perfectly content to have an open border. All President Biden needs to do in order to secure the border is to go back doing what we were doing. The Malusian is live in Eagle Pass, Texas, and I'm sure that the local community is bracing itself for what's to come, Bill. Dana, they are. Good morning to you. And as usual, as soon as the sun came up this morning, we started getting mass illegal crossings here. We'll take you live to our Fox drone right now, just a couple miles away from where I'm standing right now in Eagle Pass. It is over a group of several hundred who have just crossed illegally and are standing around waiting for processing and transport by Border Patrol. You can see the river off to the right. Where they've crossed into is a private pecan orchard. This is private property. That is why the state of Texas put up a chain link fence there. But it's not really stopping them. Once they cross the river, they just climb over it or they walk through it and you can see the amount of resources that have to respond uh, to a group like this. We'll show you the group as it was walking up. Take a look at this uh, piece of video our team shot again. Just after sunrise you'll see the, the low sunlight there as this group walks past that chain link fence. It's predominantly Cubans, Nicaraguans and Colombians crossing here in this sector. Most of them not subject to Title 42 and a CBP source tells Fox News this Del Rio sector which includes Eagle Pass has already seen over 115,000 <clears> excuse me illegal crossings crossings just since October 1st. Those numbers are up 56% over the same time last year. And last year set the all-time record for uh, illegal crossings in this sector. So we're already on track to blow that record out of the water just two and a half months into this new fiscal year. Then we'll take you out to Yuma, Arizona. Take a look at this photo. Uh, Border Patrol agents in the open desert east of Yuma patrolling find two abandoned backpacks on the ground and in those backpacks full of meth 90 pounds of meth worth over hundred and fifty thousand dollars on the streets obviously dropped and abandoned by suspected drug smugglers highlighting the fact that there are illegal immigrants trying to backpack this stuff into our country then we'll take you out to the tucson sector take a look at these wild photos Agents pulled over a vehicle near Wilcox, Arizona, after it uh, tried to circumvent a checkpoint on the highway. Inside, they find nine illegal immigrants all piled on top of each other in this little SUV being smuggled. There were two U.S. citizens driving that vehicle. They were both arrested and charged with human smuggling. And then lastly, we'll take you out to the Tucson sector again near Ajo, Arizona, where agents encountered four separate groups totaling nearly 350 people. But what makes these photos interesting is all the people you're seeing here, they were from 12 different countries around the world. Nearby Yuma sector just had five groups from 46 countries around the world. So just goes to show people are coming in from all over the place. And then lastly, uh, back out here live, Border Patrol in the Rio Grande Valley announcing late yesterday afternoon that their agents arrested two illegal immigrants with murder convictions, including one who was convicted of murdering a peace officer in Los Angeles and another who was convicted of murder in the state of Virginia. And guys, that is why it is so important to have agents out on the front lines and why it is so concerning when we had more than 73,000 known gotaways at our border last month alone. We'll send it back to you. Bill, I have a quick question for you. So, you know, we've been uh, talking to you every day or if it's Griff or Alexis or Nate, whoever is down on the border for us reporting every single day, often you're the only reporter down there. It looks to be that that's perhaps changing it a little bit. Do you get the sense that they understand, the other media that understands that this is a huge historic moment, a big story that they need to be on top of? I think they might finally starting to be waking up to it because of what happened in El Paso this week. Why, uh, this week. We had that huge migrant caravan come in on Sunday night. The city of El Paso is completely overwhelmed right now. There's hundreds of migrants homeless living on the streets in the cold. The facilities are overwhelmed. Border Patrol is overwhelmed. They're calling in agents from elsewhere. Um, it, it's, it's a bad situation in El Paso right now, and that's where most of the media has gone. But, hey, the more the merrier when it comes to this coverage. It's a big yeah. issue. It has been a big issue, and uh, Fox News has been covering it the whole time. And we're grateful for all your work. Thank you, Bill. Hey, it's Will Kane. 
Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Cain podcast for full episodes right now.